The CarePlus Group in Lincolnshire has made a huge investment to make sure that a quarter of their energy needs in the building can be met by a solar array. We are halfway through an installation of 120 250 watt solar panels on the roof of our main headquarters facility. And this uh, array, once it's fully installed, should give us about a quarter of the complete electricity that the building uses during the course of a, of a year, um, which is fantastic for us because it means that we can not only contribute to our what we feel is our environmental responsibility and offsetting the carbon that we produce as an organisation, but it also helps us in terms of saving money as an organisation. And, and the type of organisation that we are, which is a, a social enterprise, we're a staff-owned organisation, it means that that money that's saved can be ploughed back into providing local services. The Care Plus Group hope that they are setting an example to other business properties in the local area, as they say solar panels make sense for commercial buildings. It's particularly useful when you consider it in terms of commercial properties, and it's very simple in that a commercial property is likely to be full of people all day when the sun's out. I think it's a, it becomes a no-brainer for, for commercial organisations if they have the right circumstances, if they have the right aspect to their building, I think it's a no-brainer for organisations to install solar technology, um, not just because it's the right thing to do and it's environmentally responsible, but also because it stacks up financially. For domestic properties, it also stacks up as well. Anyway, it does stack up, but for commercial property particularly, because that's where the most of our staff are going to be in this, which is essentially houses a huge amount of our teams, nurses, our core handling teams, our intermediate care at home. They're there during the day when the sun's out. The installation is expected to be completed by the end of the week.